Assalamu alaikum. I hope everyone is doing great. Alhamdulillah, we are fine. I want to start my video with a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, who is showing support. It honestly means a lot. I really appreciate that and a massive thank you from my side. Today I have brought five school lunch ideas. As I live in UK, few of the schools have been open this week and few are opening from next week. So I thought I should bring some quick and easy lunch ideas for mums, especially for those children who don't want to eat same food again and again. So I hope you will enjoy this video and this video will be helpful to the mums and even if children want to make their own food. Let's watch then. Tuna sandwich. Let's make this one. Here I've taken bread, mayo, lettuce and a tin of tuna. I got everything from Tesco. They are very reasonably priced. This tin made four sandwiches. So I took a bowl and in this I put the uh, tuna but I made sure that I drained it because I didn't want to add any water into this mixture. Then I took some parts of lettuce, cut them, finely, some mayo and I did seasoning. I used a little bit of salt, not much and around half a teaspoon of black pepper but it's entirely up to you how much quantity you want to use. The more you put, it's entirely up to you. Here I've mixed them well. I added a little bit more mayo because we like creamy texture. I just applied them on bread. That's it. Here you can see I have made the sandwiches. I've cut them into kind of a square or rectangle shape you can say and a triangle. I tend to cut them in small so that it's easy for children to eat. Hash brownies burger. Yes, you have heard it right. I'm using hash brownies to make burgers. Here I've taken hash brownies, buns, burger sauce, cheese, salad, lettuce. I bought everything from Tesco's. Here I'm using my grill um, because I find it much easier to use grill instead of putting them in the oven or using frying pan to make them. Grill makes it much quicker and much easier to clean as well. I'll be making two burgers so that's why I've taken four hash brownies. The grill was very hot and I put them on. It took around 10 to 12 minutes to cook in between I was checking as well here you will see some sort of smoke coming out which means that they are half done you can see the grill marks as well this grill gives them a really crunchy and crispy structure we really like it. So it took me around 10-12 minutes. Right, I took a plate, took the buns, one side of the bun I applied mayo, other side up I applied the burger sauce, but you can use any sort of sauce that you prefer or your children like. I've used cheese, lettuce, and then I'll Put some salad I use cucumber and tomatoes if you prefer you can like uh, if you want to eat uh, capsicum you can use that as well here I've put the hash brownies so this is done I'll just pile them together so here it looks like it is really massive it's really big but trust me it was very tasty my kids they really enjoyed when they took it to school here you can see how it looks like from inside it was very yummy very delicious they quite enjoy the other burger that i made i put in the grill i'm just showing you that you can use a grill 
to uh, grill the burger if you want that is just going to help melt the cheese and it will make a crispy kind of fill layer on the top on the bottom as well if you like it that way you can make it but the both burgers are going to taste similar so here you can see the grill marks that's what always my children say mama if there is a grill mark it means it's done so yeah if it's a grill mark it's done here you can see the cheese was melted it had a very crispy crunchy top and bottom kids loved it they took it for school it was really very tasty you can use it even uh, tea time if you prefer it's entirely like a proper meat so I am showing you the right plate shows the one we didn't go in the grill the left went in the grill both are same both tasted very well it was a good use of hash brownies all right the next comes chicken nuggets wrap here I'm using the chicken nuggets I bought from Morrison's wraps from Lidl lettuce cucumber bell pepper from tesco's and i'm using a tomato sauce or you can use any sauce that you prefer i have taken only six because that is more than enough for one wrap i'll be showing you only one wrap but if you're making more you can increase the quantity and these nuggets are quite big in size so if you prefer you can cut them as well i grilled it it took five to six minutes but i kept on checking as well here you can see few of the nuggets have got the grill marks which means they are done i just flip them around because i wanted to have mark on all of them so here i'm going to assemble i used one wrap i've got all the salad in a long lengthwise thin because it's, then it's easy to wrap the wrap but you can cut any shape that you prefer if you want you can use onion as well they give very nice crunchiness to the wrap I have put the sauce quite a bit because we like it to have more sauce in our wraps here you can see the nuggets sitting on top of the sauce looking very nice basically I have topped it up with all salad that I had if you want you can put more sauce on the top you can put mayo or anything so here I'm showing you that I have cut them in two pieces and you can see how lovely gorgeous the wrap looks like and it was very tasty my kids really enjoyed them next comes the chicken popcorn toast pizza normally kids like to eat chicken popcorn on their own like my kids do but I brought a different, you know, a twist. And I thought I should make a chicken popcorn toast pizza. Here I've taken five of them. Five are more than enough. If you want, you can cut them into two or three pieces like I do. Because then it's easy for children to eat them. It took three to four minutes in the grill. It wasn't long. Meanwhile, I prepared other stuff. So you can see the grill marks. Yes, it's done. You just have to see the grill marks basically. So I took a piece of bread and um, ketchup, cheese, oregano. I cut the popcorn into small pieces, capsicum and onion. Alright, so I have applied the sauce on piece of bread cheese I sprinkle some oregano you can put more cheese if you like capsicum and then I top it up with the small pieces of chicken popcorn and I press it down as well so that they don't fall off when I, I'll be shifting it to frying pan I put more cheese because the more cheese is better and oregano again it's entirely up to you if you want to 
put more capsicum on top or onion on top it's entirely your choice in a frying pan I took around half a teaspoon of butter any butter basically melted it and then I spread it so that it's evenly spread and the bread can get nice crispiness all right so I have popped the slice very carefully I didn't want to drop anything on the sides of the frying pan the heat was at below medium uh, so it was at low flame you know and then I put the lid on I closed the hole so that the steam can stay inside it took good 12 to 15 minutes so you need to be patient right here it looks like it, lo it, it looks really beautiful and see how it looks like it's very delicious kids really enjoyed it it was a healthy it was a healthy meal even you can have it tea right let's move to the next one star bread omelet here I'm taking bread salt black pepper bell pepper onion one egg and different sorts of cookie cutters I've taken the bowl with the egg salt black pepper and onion it's entirely up to you how much quantity you want to put but I just used one teaspoon of onion they were finely chopped I have mixed them very well I'm taking star cutter because my little one he loves stars so I just took the star one and I did a brilliant job basically I pressed it down made sure I cut it properly otherwise normally I have to use a knife to cut the edges but don't know this time it worked really well so again the same thing half teaspoon of butter in the frying pan the flame is on low and uh, I have warmed it up a little bit it's melted it's spread all over in the frying pan I've put the toast one side I want to have kind of a golden brownish um, cooked toast from one side if that's the right way to say it you'll see what I mean right so I flipped it you can see it's all goldenish crispyish now i will add the the mixture that i made i poured it very carefully because i didn't want it to come out of the star you know and as you can see the leftover mixture is like quite a good amount i used that mixture and i made three more star omelette bread so all together four with one egg and the other one teaspoon of onions so it took around you can say five to six minutes the flame was low then I added capsicum as well as at this stage if you want you can add cheese as well it's entirely up to you whatever variation you want to use whatever imaginations you want to use is entirely up to you right here I flipped it you can see it looks more like a gingerbread man one leg is bigger but that's okay kids were happy it was fine so I'll, I'll flip it and I'll show you the other side so here as it was a bit liquidy it just spread but that's fine still it holds the shape of a star I dish it out my kids really liked it they enjoyed it in the school I hope these recipes would have given you some sort of inspiration that how I prepare lunch different sort of lunch to keep my kids happy please leave comments Allah Hafiz